Hi, today I wanted to show you another terrarium. This lightly forested jungle scene is home to several creatures. However, these creatures are all nocturnal, meaning they are only active at night. The first creature we will meet today is this house cricket. I named him Jimmy. Jimmy has found what may be a potential mate. He performs his courting ritual, climbing onto her back and getting rejected harshly. Jimmy has no game. The forest floor hides a predator, the Asian forest scorpion. Though appearing to glow green in this video, he is actually black. No, this doesn't mean he listens to NWA. The scorpion's exoskeleton absorbs ultraviolet light and re-emits it within the visible light spectrum. You can tell I really like this effect because I used it three times in a two minute video. While comfortably hidden within his burrow, the scorpion cleans himself after a meal. He uses special mandibles called chelicerae to bathe while you watch. You freak. Chelicerae are also used to hold food during consumption, like creepy little hands. I think he is getting uncomfortable with us watching. Let's come back after he has dried his hair. The scorpion has several tools he uses for offense and defense. Firstly, his pedipalps, or pincers, which are mostly used to crush prey. Oh. Secondly, and most notably, their aculeus, or tattoo needle. He offers low rates on subpar tattoos, but only on weekends and holidays, as he works a Monday through Friday job. When threatened or vulnerable, the Asian forest scorpion will hold itself incredibly still. Like, really still. Like, really still. Is he still breathing? Okay, we're good. Though a slow-moving arachnid, scorpions are still a formidable foe for many an insect, traveler, or otherwise. <laughs> 